Hello friends hope all of you are doing well today i came with a subject generally we are ignoring when we are talking about piping piping or pipeline construction this is a very very important subject which is structural steel its installation inspection and acceptance i will have two videos in this series at this moment the first one is about the installation inspection and acceptance and another subject we generally do not carry enough information about the structural bolt tightening this will be the second video in this series so let us start with the first one what we will be going through in this video are basically the general idea work procedure material receiving handling and storage of the structural material foundation inspection and acceptance for the structures pre assembly erection alignment checking and bolt tightening overview grouting and the final inspection the erection of structural steel work consists of the assembly of steel components into a frame on site the process involve lifting and placing components into position then connecting them together generally this is achieved through bolting you can see the structural steel work flow in little bit a flow chart style the construction preparation has two parts one is the civil work where we do the foundation inspection and acceptance level nut top elevation adjustment and inspection and on the other hand we are doing the metallic portion that means the structural material receiving handling and storage transportation and inspection on site the prefabricated structures can be transported to site some contractors purchase the structural material like beam channel angles and fabricating the structures on their fabrication shop when the foundations are ready to take the structure inspected and accepted then we'll go for the assembly and erection we pre assemble the fabricated structures and we will start erection after erection alignment bolt tightening and inspection after inspection accessory steel structure erection and alignment like some bracings some kind of handrails some kind of gratings for the platforms then finally there will be a grouting anchor bolts final tightening and final inspection so we will go through this process in a brief overview first one is material receiving handling and storage to ensure that all steel structural material required for the construction work shall conform to the project specification and by applying approved control procedure described to prevent the undesirable use and to set up the traceability of the materials we are doing material receiving inspection mill test report for the structural material are furnished and verified to conform the requirements of the applicable specification check that all materials are from the approved supplier mill test report shall conform to the inspection documentation requirements manufacturer declares that products supplied are in compliance with the requirements of the order and in which he supplies the test result the steel structure materials required for the construction work shall not be released for use until that it was not been inspected or otherwise verified skilled workers permits vehicles tools and site facilities and other materials required shall be confirmed as per project safety and quality requirements all material shall be received unloaded stored and otherwise handled in a manner that prevents distortion damage and staining materials shall be kept free of dirt grease and other foreign material contractor will provide sufficient loading and offloading area to accommodate truck trailer cranes forklift in the storage area now we are going to the civil part the foundation inspection and acceptance foundation inspection report shall be verified by civil inspection and test plan location orientation elevation and condition of support foundation conformed with the project plan drawings 
concrete foundation has reached the curing period until the compressive strength has reached 70% of the specified strength but not less than 7 days after placement. Survey benchmark must shall be used to install all foundation and related anchor bolts before start steel erection. Leveling shims are installed with a minimum top elevation of 25 mm and from the top of the concrete foundation. This is to allow a minimum thickness of 25 mm of non shrink cement based grout. Check the foundation with respect to the drawing measurements including the foundation bolt center, threads length, verticality etc. The bolts must be checked thoroughly, coordinates and elevation, thread condition, straightness of the anchor bolts to be verified, there is no settlement during concrete casting. Foundation shall be chipped to required elevation, top of concrete has been roughened or chipped with hammer to remove latent oil soaked or damaged concrete to the level of sound concrete or to a minimum of top 25 mm of concrete. Anchor bolt diameter conforms with the equipment or structure detail drawing. The minimum anchor bolt diameter shall be 20 mm or 3 by 4 inch except when specified. Number of bolts matches the number of holes of the equipment or structure. Anchor bolt spacing and bolt circle diameters matched the actual bolt holes of the equipment structural base plate. Here you also can see the flow, preparation for installation, ground and steel parts recheck before you start installation. First you install the columns, then column adjustment then the beam and columns mating parts, then choose the leaf point of the beams, then install the main structure as per the drawing. The next one will be the installation of purlins and bracings, after that we will install the wall panels, then installation of roof panels, install ridge tile and edge cover, install door and windows, surface and glue checking, finalization of the complete structure. This example is for a big industrial shed. Structural erection could be pre-assembled into frame or sections before lifting. Typical calculation for one frame shall be calculated before lifting. If section pre-assembly is possible or required for the erection, all the assemble procedure shall be according to approved procedure and specification. The procedure for pre-assembly shall consider the transportation and general lifting plan, job safety analysis, also bolting prefix prior to lifting. Inspection for pre-assembled section, especially the final bolting shall be carried out, approved by the client before lifting. The angular variation of the working line from a plumb line shall be equal to or less than 1 by 500 of distance between working points. Anchor bolts or columns shall be pre-tightened before assembling beams. Tie ropes shall be provided to secure the column when it is not in stable condition. Leveling plates, leveling nuts and washers and loose base plates and bearing plates are set in their current alignment and elevation. Variation in elevation related to established grade is equal to or less than plus or minus one, 1 by 8 inch. Columns or structure with attached base plates are temporarily supported on leveling nut, shims and other leveling devices and plumbed before grouting. Erection drawing shall clarify to show and mark the number and position for each structure on yard area to avoid any confusion. Fill correction or fabricated steel by gas cutting is not permitted without prior approval of the client. Here are some pictures of structural steel erections. The riggers are equipped with safety harness and working with full safety. Man lift shall be used to fix the horizontal beams on pipe rack under 24 meter. 
For those above 24 meters, scaffolding is recommended. Lifting should implement as following specification. Tying ropes should be provided at both ends of the member to be lifted. For larger members, protection sleeve shall be provided to prevent from surface damage by sling or shackle. The sharp portion shall be covered to avoid sling damage. Grating lifting should be fully secured, tied, offloaded on structure at accessible area with full closed platforms, temporary or permanent prior to distribution. All the lifting operations shall be carried out by qualified rigging foreman and rigging crews. Alignment checking and bolt tightening. Written procedure for structural bolt tightening has to be approved by the client. High strength bolts shall be used in all bolted structural connections unless otherwise noted in the contract documents. Each part of structural steel shall be properly aligned before completion of field connection. The vertical allowable tolerance is 1 is to 1000, maximum 25 mm. Bolts have full thread engagement with nut. The bolt length used shall be such that the end of the bolt extends beyond or it is at least flush with the outer face of the nut when properly installed. Calibrated torque wrench shall be used for the final bolt torquing. Mark each bolt after tightened to avoid missing. Inspect all the tightened bolts by QC inspector. Bolt tightened torque exceeds 110% of the maximum recommended torque shall be replaced. Bolts with torque less than 90% of the recommended shall be re-tightened. All final tightened bolts shall be marked clearly. Final bolting for the anchor bolts cannot be done until grouting has been cured for 7 days and approved by the client inspection representative. Now grouting. Prior to grouting, concrete repair has to be performed. Grouting can only be carried out after the alignment inspection approved as per approved inspection test plan. Grouting materials shall be approved with MSDS as per manufacturer recommendation. When type of grout is not specified by the equipment manufacturer, cementuous grout shall be used. Grout shall be placed only on the direction to prevent trapping air. Grouting shall be quick and continuous to avoid segregation, bleeding and premature initial set. Retempering of grout by adding water after stiffening is not permitted. Sampling and testing shall be performed by company approved independent test laboratory. Final inspection and acceptance of the installed structure. Request for final inspection cannot be submitted until all the structural modification, preparation and touch up finished in that range. There must have a walk down punch list complied with both parties formally. Approved quality checklist and documents with all relevant inspection and test reports shall be collected and forwarded to the QC department after final inspection for handover. All construction punch list must be rectified and punch items which are not affecting the structure safely use will be left until it is acceptable for final mechanical completion work down. Turnover team will coordinate each other to create a subsystem of the scope prior to mechanical completion work down. This is the total structural steel installation, inspection and acceptance overview. Hope you gained some knowledge from my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification icon to get the notification as soon as I put any new video. Thanks a lot. Signing off. Showman.